Okay, hopefully that is better. We'll let everybody come back in. Hopefully the robot's gone. Yay, all fixed. It I don't know what it is that <coughs> it's like you get a bad connection, like in the old days when you would call and you wouldn't the phone would be bad. Hi Linda. Hi C B Kathy. Hi Jean. Did you enjoy your crop? Your card was really cute. Hi Gamer Pro. Who is that? Hi Linda. Hi Kat. This is Tay Tay. Hi Eileen. Good, good, good. I'm letting everybody come back in and then I'm going to show you. Um, Yeah, I think those are perfect for Easter. They're super cute. Hi, AJ. Oh, okay. Hi, Amara. Hi, Beth. Hi, Galena. All right. We don't have Shauna yet. I came up with an idea for her card, but then we came up with a better idea. So here was sort of her idea in a nutshell. Hi, Cindy. Stop, Tay Tay. You can't play with everything. She's such a brat. AJ, I ordered pigments. Let's do that real quick. Um, I ordered pigments, AJ. I ordered two golds, a purple, a magenta, a sapphire blue, an emerald green, a deep turquoise, and one other I don't remember. So I'm going to do the ones that have the, the darker color. Yeah. So I was working on the idea that we had talked with for Shauna. So this is just like a blank card and I put the art on the top. And Shauna wanted to do something where she like punched out a sentiment and flipped it over and it made a frame. So what I came up with, and she'll have to just watch this if she's not here. I took a frame and made a frame, and there's double stick pop dots. There's a double thickness because I don't have the really thick kind. Now, I did find some issues with this, um, and I'm not sure what I did made it better or worse. And I'll show you what I ended up doing. Because I cut this with a this is a five by seven piece and I cut an opening that was three and a half by five and a half in the middle. So the idea was that Shauna would put her art on the card. This would need to be a slightly different size than what I did. She would make a frame, but I don't think this is sturdy enough. The idea works. I just don't think it's sturdy enough for watercolor. And I think it's very labor intensive. Okay, I've got just a couple more of these to peel.
And I put several because it's going to have to have support. So this is the inside of the cord that I'm going to put this frame. So, and it's up off of the mat. Now, when I went to close it, it was slide out. So I took a little bit off the top, which might, so you can see how thick it is. It doesn't really want to close. So it makes it a pretty thick card, but you would write your sentiment here. Or stamp. And then they would punch out, and I have little holes, but to me, this is messy. I just used a poking tool, like an awl. And I'm sure there is a better tool that somebody would have. Now, I'm getting a deckled edge because, again, I should have made my frame a little wider. This was just like a prototype. But again, this should be hidden more than it is. It should be up under the frame. So if I'd made the frame a little wider, the hole could have. <clears throat> I was trying not to cover too much of the arch. And it should have made this turquoise frame a little uh, deeper. Then they would take and flip the card, and they could frame it. Yeah, there's there are score blades. I don't have a score blade. Now, I will tell you, that is labor-intensive. And I got to thinking about it. Why could you not just use a card blank? I'm going to do it on a bigger size. Um, to, to demonstrate. Because I don't have a small enough mat. So this is on a ginormous scale. And actually it's not even gonna work. It's not the right size. Okay, my idea was, why wouldn't you just get a five by seven frame with a four by six? and just put the frame underneath the card. The card would be its regular thickness. This doesn't want to close. This is a lot more labor. The person, it wouldn't be this size. It would be the five by seven frame, but the proper for the watercolor. And it would just be underneath the card. You'd open up the card, then you'd take your frame and you would put it over your artwork and put it in the frame. No, we're not making envelopes, Joycey. <laughs> Apparently, we're not even making cards, right? So, Shauna, I still think that it would be less expensive to do card blanks.
and you can get it was like 40 for 16 or 17 you can probably get them on sale or use a coupon and it was like 25 mats was $7.99 and a hundred clear bags was $7.49. So that's a dollar fifty basically. That's fourteen fifteen twenty one twenty two. Basically, for $32.50, you'd have everything you need, and you would just plop your art on the card, add a mat, put it in a baggie, done. Because this is too much measuring and all of that. Because, And it makes more sense from an Etsy perspective. You just put the art on the card. They would write the sentiment or whatever they wanted inside the card. And you would just have a mat behind it, a single mat in a cellophane bag. This is a really clever idea, but it gets really bulky. And if you're going to do watercolor, you have to have a mat that keeps this from the glass. Because if the watercolor's against the glass, you get condensation and it can reconstitute and ruin the watercolor. That's why you have to put watercolor under a glass mat. So that's my two cents. This is garbage. But we'll keep the alcohol ink. That can go in a mat when I think I'm done with it. All right. Hi, Janet. So I was going to do a little bit of uh, some paper piecing, kind of like we've been doing with the apples. I thought I would work on this cow that I already had an underpainting of and that we'd put paper on it. And then I have some cats that I have ready. And I wanted to use this paper from Norma, I think. This was from Shauna. And do a paper piecing with my pattern of Gibson. And do some cats and then we'll work on the cow maybe. So this is a photograph of my cat Gibson that I turned into a pattern and I just have three pieces. I have his body, his head, which goes up here. No, sorry. His head, which goes right here. And then there's um, a blanket. He was laying over a chair and there was a blanket. So I thought this would be good on the, for the blanket because it's floral. So I'm just going to cut the blanket. And I'm going to leave it longer than the original piece. And that will get glued on this background. Then because I picked napkin prints to use for the cat, I'm going to do all the cats on book text. And it works out just perfect. Um, I don't really worry about um, you could like clip it with a clothespin or little bull nose clips to cut
and I'm not going to worry about the details in here because the head is going over that. And I'm leaving just a little bit of a lip where the head's going to go. So there's something for the glue to grab. And let's just do his head. Now, I think I'm going to try to make his eyes go where there's no print. So that there's no um, text in his in his eyes. That could be a little demonic looking. Okay. organized here Get the glue it's just a real easy way to paper piece and you can take your own personal photo and choose something that's got relative easy images to do and then we're going to enhance them with either ink tints or pit pens I haven't decided I'm leaning towards uh, pit pens so I'm going to put gel medium here all right now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of my kitty. All right, before I put the head on, I am going to glue on some napkin for his fur kind of pattern, which I'll probably put on the head too a little bit. I'm just going to use a wet brush and isolate the part of the napkin that I want to use. wet
get rid of the trash. Hi, Wendy. Okay, then I'm gonna tear down. Get that glued down. Okay, so let's put the head on, and I'm going to take a piece of uh, pencil, I'm going to get my I just have the, it cut up so I can make some little marks. For the eyes. And the nose that just makes it easier. And that just a little eraser here and there. All right, let's put some glue on the back of the head. That glued in. Covered there. Okay, the details lost in there right now, but it will not it'll it'll come back in a minute. I'm going to get some area of napkin that I want to use. Thank you. All right, I'll take that pattern. Out. I'm just taking some little pieces that can be kind of ear shaped.
That. And I'm just using my nail if I want to take some of the napkin off. I'm just making sure that these are glued down. I need to let them dry before I touch them too much. And then I need a little dot on this side, the color. One more. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna put my pieces back. In the baggie so I don't lose them. I have some others that I'll work on later that are the same kind of thing. Let's let that dry and then we'll come back to it. Let's switch brushes. Let's do some of the paper on the cow. And I'm going to use jelly prints that I already have. I didn't jelly print anything special for it. But I have a whole drawer full of blues. And let's start on the background. All right. Definitely want to use some of that. Some of that. Some of that. I'm just grabbing some blues. 
and some turquoise patterns. Just looking for certain uh, turquoise paints that I had. Those are napkins. These are solids. There's some like for light color. I don't know if I'll use that light, but we'll see. That's enough of, of that to start with for sure. Put the cat to the side, let's see. Oh, we had a troll, I'm sure. All right. I just removed them. Hi, Deb. Hi, Button. Yeah, it's going to be turquoise and probably some bits of red on the dark parts. All right, so I'm going to put my paper in like light, medium. The napkins I'm going to set to the side here. I don't think I'm going to use that after all. I don't think it's the right color. I definitely know I want to use pieces of this. And I like this pattern here too. Start well, I know this is going to be light colored, so let's get some of the dark in here and on some of the edges, and we'll put some of the lighter. around the cow. 
actually I'm gonna switch. And it's okay if papers overlap and hang off. Not using scissors is going to be really hard for me because I like to cut the, but it'll get, the snout will get overlapped. I know that from watching her work. And this is a napkin that is painted. All right, let me see if, I think I can move the camera in. That works, I think. Are you saying the cow has mumps? And I'm going to go to a different paper. It says a straight edge already on it. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use it. All right, and I'm not going to worry about the edge of the flowers because they're going to go on top of the background.
I'm going to leave that straight edge on there because it's going to get covered up too. It's too hard to tear it sometimes. I think I'm doing a lickable background. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing too big of pieces, am I? Okay, I'm going to leave that area and turn it around for a few minutes. Yeah. Well, thank you. We're just sort of painting with papers.
this tears really um, easily because it's old uh, pattern paper. This is um, a jelly print, and I had a dark layer that got real dark, and then I did white paint with a letter stencil, and then little pops of turquoise over it. Do I feel like we need to add some medium and some light papers because it can get too dark. Because the cow is going to be mostly, I'll have to jelly print papers for the cow. Well, let's go to a different napkin. And let those overlap. Hi, Christine. And then let's this paper has some gold in it. It's got little bits of metallic in it. Let's do some more of that napkin. Across there.
that. Um, let's put some light again and some Polka dotted. And here. You do get sticky, sticky fingers. Yeah, I like the circles too. I'm going to wish I had more of that paper. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to get rid of that. Here's just some regular turquoise. Probably was trying to do a, one of those deli prints with the black because it's got little bits of what it looks like. something too blue right there so I'm gonna put this paper over it Trim some of this off the back. One, because I want this paper right here. Two, because some of it's driving me nuts. I like the depth you get with the napkin layers because you can see some of the pattern below. I 
I don't know. Let's take this lighter paper right in here. And then a piece of it. Give me in here. Okay, honey. I'll put that lighter color there. Solid paper there. Throw that away. Just about done with the background, and then it'll be a matter of I'm going to use the rest of this. Some of this I didn't use. I have the cat. It's over here drying. I did start with a cat. It is drying. This is just little pieces of napkin that were on the table. Okay, so now we need the last bits of the dots.
Okay, so let's get rid of the big pieces of paper that can be used over. Let's set that up in here. Here is our cat from earlier that we're going to finish up. Now I'm going to use a pit pen on top of the gel medium. It's in the ink, so it's permanent, but I have a little bit of time to smear it. I'm just trying to get some of the glue off my fingers before I go and get started. Okay, I'm gonna put that lid on the glue just so I don't forget. I'll let the cow dry. All right, I know I want this color. A couple browns. Black. I think I'm gonna have to use some white on the blanket and then come back with blue will be my guess. So you've got to have your matte medium has to be dry to do this. That'll help the camera stay focused. I think I can bring it in. just focus on you won't see the blanket right now but i'm not working on the blanket so what i'm going to do is just come along this edge and then blend out
And if I don't like some place I went, if I use a wet wipe, I can get it off and move it. There's my ear. And I think I'm going to get a gray. I'm going to use a black on the edge here. I'm kind of a gray paw. Okay. I don't think I have a very good coated gel medium on some of this because I... Okay. Let's do the other ear. This is just white. Pit pen. I'll soften that black over there. brown on the edge. There's actually a darker brown that I want to.
this up this edge. arm and I'm just off the edge of the face I don't want to go too dark on the face and I'll clean up under the blanket and add some gray anyways because there'll be a shadow. So I'm not really concerned about that right now. And I'm going to take a little pink of a flesh color and put in the ear. That's probably a little brighter than what I wanted, but clean my finger and we'll knock that down a little and pull some of that white back. Okay, this is kind of like a flesh color that's not going to work. some pink in the nose for just a minute. Okay, I'm going to take black. I'm 
and we're going to take like a golden color for the eye and a green. Underneath. All right, we need to do the the blank. So let's do the white. Look at my pattern real quick. I just want to see where the folds are. Okay, we're gonna let those dry a few minutes. You wanna try a blue on, yeah, that'll. That'll work, I think. is a darker like a navy I'm going to take a wet brush and see if I can't manipulate that a little more. I'm not having a lot of luck. With the white. I think I'm just going to try the blue. And the black on its own.
Tay Tay. What is wrong? That works. Oh, she's hunting. All right, then I'm going to give a coat. Oh, it needs a highlight in the eye. The nose needs to be finished too, a little better. It helps. Need to give her whiskers. Add some of those little details to the face. Um, let's name her Cinnamon. Cinnamon Sue. I don't put the exaggerated eyelashes on the the little cats. Do you feel better, Sean? 
Well, this weather does not help. It's blowing like 90 to nothing here. Oh, she was on earlier. She's out hunting and hunting. Okay, let me put it. I'm trying to put everything back in its right place since I'm done with that, or I'll lose them. No, it was a napkin from somewhere that she brought in. That's her latest thing she's been hunting is Kleenexes and napkins. Oh, we'll, we'll be we'll be best buds here just in a little bit. All right, so there's the cat and. Here is how she'll look. Well, I could get my. There's how she'll look matted. So, like I said, it's just a combination of some scrapbook paper, dictionary print or text, some napkin. A photograph and it makes a pretty um, easy paper piecing okay Tay Tay you can come up and say hi well yes yeah they have done that Bubba does that say my Bubba does that more than me a rabbit a couple mice a bird, we've done a bird a couple times. No snakes to my knowledge. They tried. We had a drain, we have a, we have a rock wall in the backyard. That's about maybe three foot, four foot high and it's got PVC pipe in it for drainage and they would learn that when the field was back there before they built the houses all kinds of critters would be coming in our backyard through those little openings and they would lay there on the wall and watch for that zoom out okay yeah i'm, I'm fixing to Show you the cow. That's as zoomed out Tay Tay as you get. I don't know why it went blurry there for a minute. Okay, yes. No, oh, you, you haven't met banana. You haven't met the fat fanny, have you? She's just a purring. She's making the camera. She's making the camera flash. She's not really too big. No, Fat Fanny is. Let me see if I have a picture of Fat Fanny. You can see Fat Fanny in the picture. Fat Fanny is big. It's spelled P H A T. 
That is Fat Fanny. With her lucky paw. That would be about the only way you would see Fat Fanny. He's in a photograph. <laughs> like I said, Tay Tay's really not that big. She's the smallest out of, out of all of them. Her brother Gibson is bigger than her. And he's the gray and white tuxedo. But yeah, she's just a healthy weight. She likes her snacks. She likes her snacks. All right. Down. Yeah, right. Down. Down. All right, so here's the cow. The next step will be to do the cow itself, but I'm going to have to jelly print some papers because I know I don't have a lot of browns. I can look through what Shauna gave me too because I need some creams. That will help for the that can work for the flower and some of the cow parts. I might use something like this over some of the yellow. That's from Kathy Arbor. That would be good. I'm not going to. This is just some music paper with the right color. There's some darker brown, but this is a heavier cardstock, but that might work in some bits. Here's kind of a pinky brown, but I don't know. There's a brown on some map. There's some brown. There's some brown napkin. Here's some brown and cream. That will work for the parts that are cream. No, I'm not going to jelly now or do the cow. I'm just going to pull what papers I have. Okay, for the cream, I'll probably use some music paper and some pattern paper and some dictionary print. And I might jelly print over that in white. looking at my neutral drawer to see if there's any others possible and then I'm gonna look in the stuff that you gave me that is not filed because the drawers are full Let's 
See, that's good. That rice paper from Shauna. I need a green for the stem, so I know I'll keep that out. That'll work for that. And I might get by. There might be enough. Without jelly printing, because I think that would work for the cow. That would work for some of the cream transitions, like between the cream and the cow. There's just a brown color that we can put napkin over. There's some interesting patterns that could be used on the cow. That's probably enough papers. And we'll save that for when we do the rest of it. And just go a little bit, do work a little bit on the cow. I don't know how far I'll, I'll go. Right, and the flower I'm not going to worry about right now either. I'm just going to do the little pop of yellow. In the middle.
and then we'll do the leaf flowers later with the I think they're gonna be in newsprint Okay, let's do that right there. That's rice paper, so that's pretty thin. Bye, CB. That tree stitch stencil is really versatile. I have lost my eye in here, but we'll get it put back in there somehow. I have the original photo, so I...
And then let's use some of this. Text kind of as a transition in some places. Okay, and then for the snout. I think I just want to with a kind of a base. And then we'll add to it. Tear these more curved. Sorry, it's too low. Let's find, let's use a piece of the black. To make like the nostril.
put some some text across the top. I really like this rice paper. This is all paper. All paper. Paper and glue. That's all it is. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy. With that. I know I lost his eye on this side. So I actually think I need to lose the eye. On this one. And just let it get laid on top organically. On the top, you know, like it'll just get laid on top of this paper. All right, I think I want to do more with these nostril holes. This paper from Shauna is grays and browns and some black like. Thank <sighs> you. 
Okay. Okay, I think I want to save this right here for when I do this and kind of tear it and lay it over. So I'm going to set that aside so I have it. I'm going to get rid of some of the lighter colored pieces out of my way. Because I think I'm happy with the pale part. This I didn't end up using. I think it was just too green in the end for me. I'm just going to start sticking some papers in. And these have magicals on them. So they're sparkly. in places. I'll leave some for the surface of that. Okay, this is map paper that was jelly printed or Painted somehow. I don't think this is too pink if we use small amounts of it.
Okay. I don't want to introduce some of this texture and color. In some places. Your fingers get really glue heavy. Thank you, Sharon. Well, yeah, the magicals are permanent. I want some of this in some places too. <coughs> I think it might work right here.
The rice paper, I'm just kind of going back and adding some texture and transition since it's lightweight. Okay, now I need the rest of that green stem. Body's not too bad. Okay. 
rid of some of these little pieces of paper that are driving me nuts. I don't really like this paper so much. I don't want to put it on the ear. There's the, his head's kind of got this little bump up there. A little tip right in there. Thank you, Sharon. Thank. Yeah, I think that's what I want that middle to do.
but I don't want to put it on there yet. Okay, I'm trying to use the last bits of certain pieces of paper judiciously. Even though I think they'll get covered up for the most part. Lay that down yet. Let's get some more magical paper. Now let's get a piece of this with the dots. That rice paper. Okay, 
I'm not sure I like this right here. Needs a transition. Not a light colored. There we go. That's what it needs. It needs to be covered up some. Okay, let's take the last bit of this music paper. I gotta tear it smart though. that same kind of transition paper, that rice paper, that works good. Okay, and then transition stuff. this here. Put some of that rice paper in. It's that paper that went pinky. That had kind of a pinky brown. Okay. 
just some more rice paper. This is kind of like a white orangey color. I think he needs eyes. Let's get. All right, I'm gonna clean up real quick. I'll leave those little bits in case I need. the photograph. I'm sorry. I was too focused, wasn't I? Let me, let me get the photograph so I can see where the eyes go. We need to do the flower too. I'm just gonna get some dictionary paper. The eyes are dark, but I'm gonna go ahead and do uh text. in that area because I know that will make dots so happy to have a white eye okay then let's do All right. Now I'm probably gonna cheat and put some eyelashes because this one's got some pretty eyelashes <clears throat> and do me and do a little pin. If 
or the eyes will, I won't like them. Yeah, I named it cinnamon. It's right here. It came in and went back out. No, nothing's for the, this, none of this is for a friend. It'll all go in the Etsy shop. All right, let's let those eyes dry a minute. I'm going to cut some of this stuff off the back. It's my cat that I used photograph for. I just didn't want to do an apple. Catalina. Oh, that's a good name. I don't, hey, hey, you got to go down. Sorry. You just do. We still have to do the flower. That's going to be hard to. Okay, let's start laying in. I think I need another color though. I think I need. Here's some yellow in a circle. It's kind of grungy. Some of the petals can be that. There are others that are more yellow. Because I think what I'm going to need to do is like alternate. Okay. 
Welcome back, Norma. I bet we lost, lost Dottie hours ago, and I missed it, probably. It's hard to tear to a tip really small papers. That's why scissors are your friend. Just don't run with the scissors, that's true. I need Trying to get the ones that come across.
I'm just about done with the flower. Just need a few more tiny pieces. That's going to have to be it. Petals on my hand. Let's try putting a little dark spot right here. And now let's try putting those back in. All right, that's better because that gave it something to. Yeah, I usually do pen work. I'm trying to. I think I am going to do the eyes my way, not her way. Love her work, but I think the little bitty papers, plus I want my eyelashes. And my highlight to be right. I'm just about done with the glue. I need to get black in there. All right, so I'm going to use. Just a bit of this to make a black. I actually picked the right one I could get a highlight in it now that I see it that one would have a highlight and this one could have a highlight Okay, I like that. I actually, that's pretty good. It just needs. An eyelash. Okay, so that did work. The highlight did work out.
Okay, I think it needs some more in the nose too. Just in for a penny, in for a pound. Okay, now if I really want to start being picky, 
it needs some darker green. Along the bottom of the flower. So we'll do just a little bit like a dart. So we have a little contrast on the, the flower. I think it's done. Okay, I'm calling it. I need to step away from the little pieces of paper because you could just keep going, I think. I think that's not bad. I need to see a mat. 
with it. It's not too bad. Doesn't have to be matted, but I just think they look better matted. This might be one that would be fine, fine not in a mat because it's all, there's nothing. So I may just sell it just like this without a mat and let people decide how they want to frame it. Because a little bigger mat would be better. But I could see it just in a black. Like if you got a 9 by 12 opening and a 16 by 20, that would be a good. I think that's what they sell. If you had a 9 by 20, a 9 by 12 opening, and then usually it's a. I'm going to, I don't like where my signature is. So I'm going to take that off while I can. I just don't like it there. Too, too high. Are we giving her a name? Like that much better. I liked Catalina. Let's put Catalina up here. Monique, that's cute. Well, we said she was from Southern California. So that's why Catalina works because she's got a Southern California map there. I know better than to touch that pen, which is perfectly good. Anywhere near that wet. I think the apple might have been easier. You want to pet her? She turned out better than I thought. Night, everybody.
All right, guys. I am going to go. I'll go back through the chat and see if I missed anything or any questions that I can answer. 